to all my fabulous Triple Promise students and to all of my students, past, present, future, at any institution where I've ever worked with you. I haven't posted an audition tips and techniques video in a while, and I wanted to post one based on something that recently came up in auditions. Before I start, though, I just want to say that no one was ever punished over this. We never took points off. No one ever didn't get a roll over this. It's just something I want to address so that my students know and can prepare the best auditions possible in the future. So let's get into it. What we're talking about today is wearing a costume or bringing a prop to an audition. And the answer is <coughs> never, never, never in big flashing red lights. Never, 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 never wear a costume or bring a prop to an audition. When you go to an audition, you want to dress professionally. You can dress in a way that might inform the character a little bit. So for example, if you're going out for um, a very feminine role, you could wear a pretty dress, but you don't want to go to a, an audition for Cinderella dressed in the big beautiful white ball gown or an audition for Snow White dressed in that classic shoulder puffy dress that Snow White wears. You never want to wear a costume. If you're auditioning for the role of a businessman and you want to wear like a nice suit or a tie, that's fine as long as it just looks like an outfit and not like a costume. And I'm going to explain why you should never bring a prop or wear a costume to an audition. So the first reason is it is considered gimmicky and you don't want to be gimmicky when you go to an audition. The second reason is that it pigeonholes you. So I'll give you a great example. If you watch the documentary that was made, it's available on YouTube, of the Macy's contest where they did a search to find the next Annie for Broadway. This was about maybe 10 years ago, eight years ago, something like that. They did a documentary on the kids, all the kids auditioning. And this one little girl who was very talented came to the audition. She was wearing an Annie costume that was very clearly an Annie dress and in Annie shoes. And her mother had cut her hair, given her a perm, and dyed her hair bright flaming orange. And there's a scene in the documentary where you see the director going through his notes and headshots and he gets to this particular child and he says, what a shame. I wish I could do something with her, but I can't do anything with her. And the reason he couldn't do anything with her is because someone else auditioned better for the role of Annie. But he still wanted to consider this girl with the flaming orange hair. He still wanted to consider her for a different role, like maybe Pepper or Molly or one of the other orphans. But because she had this flaming perm that was fluorescent orange, she looked way too much like Annie. And so he couldn't put her on stage next to Annie, who was going to be wearing the Annie wig in any other role because it would have been distracting. So she pigeonholed herself into a place where it was like she could only be considered for Annie or nothing else. And that was a really devastating move for her because then she didn't get cast. Hey, girl. So the Annie lookalike does everything. The Annie right. lookalike is she's great, done. but she's a, she is a, a mimic. She's not an actor. She, she's done it too. The third reason why you should never wear a costume or bring a prop to an audition is because it is insulting to the directors and choreographers and music directors. Now, let me explain here. Am I personally insulted by it? Absolutely not. I know that you guys are kids. I know that you're still learning, you're growing, you're developing. I don't take it personally. I don't feel insulted. But as your teacher, I want to make sure that you know what the etiquette is so that when you go out into the real world, you don't insult anybody. And here's, let me explain why it can be insulting to a director. So a director's job is to see possibilities. A good director knows or can conceive what a person is going to look like with the right costume, what an actor is going to look like with the right prop, what a show is going to look like with the right scenery. If you show up in a costume, you're basically saying to the director, I don't think you can see possibilities. Let me really spell it out for you. And it's just considered very rude. So good professional actors, when they go to an audition, they want to appear like a blank slate. 
Yes, obviously you want to show your talent off as best you can, but you don't want to thrust your ideas into the director's face because that's the costume designer's job. That's the director's job. That's they conceive of those things. So you don't want to go in there telling the director, well, I know better than you do what this character should look like and how I should play it. So while I am never personally insulted by a student who wears a costume to an audition, I want to make sure that my students go out into the real world knowing what the professional etiquette is and doing the professional thing at all times because we aim to train you as professionals. So that is three reasons why you should never wear a costume or bring a prop to an audition. I hope that this information is helpful, not just to my Triple Promise students and my other students past, present, and future, but I hope it is also helpful to any student out there who is preparing an audition for any reason. Break legs and have fun. When you're having fun, the audience will have fun watching you.